Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to pass information into our views from the controller. Recall that the controller is the part of the project that handles what happens when the user clicks on it. It does, it does a little heavy lifting behind the scenes. Um, it's the action, so to speak, of your project. The view is what the people look at, the model is the data. <clears throat> I'm going to explore models much later on in my this series of videos, but for today I'm going to send in some simple information. Now we already saw this sort of in action. If we looked at each one of these pages, we saw we had view data set here in the CSCHTMO header. And this is up here, this is where you're writing C sharp code. So we're setting the map, it says title equal desktops, and that gets displayed right up here with this at view data. Now I can use that process from the controller into the page as well. So what I'm going to do is I want to send some information into my page. The idea behind this is, you know, maybe I'm reading from a database or I want to have date sensitive messages that pop up. So I'm going to modify my desktops to send in a message. So whatever code I have in here will run every time a user clicks on my desktops link or does a get call to a desktop. And of course, you know, the HTTP get commands. I'm going to use the map view data. This is a interactive map. You can use whatever you want. There are no built-in phrases. This view data is accessible throughout my project. But in this case, it's going to be passed into my desktops. So when I go into desktops, I can use that. So I'm going to add another entry here. So I'm going to pull back from the map the message. And this message could be whatever you want. So I run this. Give it a minute while it chugs. Pops up, I click desktops, there's my message. I don't like the double header, so of course I'm just going to get rid of this guy and make this lower one in H1. Might not have been the most efficient way to do this, but hey, you get the idea. You know, I love this about this editor. I change this from H3 to H1 and automatically change my close tag. Thank you very much. I'm go back to my controller. I can do the same thing for laptops. Um, I could you know, even use the same objects. This hot reload button is supposed to rerun this without you having to stop and start. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to go to my controller. So I'm going to say laptop and tablet computers for sale. Refresh doesn't do anything with our hot reload. Give it a moment to pop up. Let's see if it pops in. There it is. In Visual Studio 2019, you had to check on a project to get that to happen. 2020, to move that to the button. Um, I've had good luck with it over the time, so you can actually just keep this running, just hot reload. There are times that doesn't work, like if you build a massive scaffolding, you should stop and rerun, but for these little changes, that is fine. Okay, so as mentioned, I said that this is wide open. I'm going to create something called sale message. So laptops 10% off this week. Over here.
Ooh, I'm there. What I do? I forgot a semicolon. Let's try it again. Should have left the hot reload up. There we go. All right. Last thing I want to pass in here. So I can send in multiple pieces of data like I just did. I can also send in an array. I can do this a variety of ways. I'm going to choose to send an array in through a view. I'm simulating a cheap database here. So I'm going to create an array right here. I could pass a class into this using a model, and there are much more efficient ways to do this. Gaming desktop, office desktop, uh, development workshop. We've got three simple objects here. Um, this gets passed into this view. You see this view, of course, you know, is capable of taking multiple parameters. You can actually have a whole big long list of those. You'll see that as you move forward here. Um, in my desktop class, I'm going to handle this. I'm going to build a simple UL here. I'm going to call a C-sharp line of code right here. I'm going to use it for each because I don't want to count for each. The model gets passed in. This is our model. Now, it's a bad model, but it's a model, and we're sending data in. Okay, it's not angry anymore. Let's see what happens. There we go. It's given us a warning because model really isn't defined well. It's passed in, but it definitely allows me to pass a simple array into there. Awesome. Okay, so in this video, you learned how to use the controller to pass simple data into your views. Um, from this, we can build to, to files, to web services, to databases, whatever it is you need. Um, you have the power now. Thank you. Good luck.